What up, YouTubers? This is Flames of Noah 216 here to bring to you an unboxing of Guilty Gear Exile. Apparently, the game was supposed to come out in um in the U.S. basically in a week, but since I think Walmart's been selling some, apparently all the stores are able to sell sell the copies a week early. So um, let's get to it. It's the, basically the front, as you see, and you got the back covered here. Latest entry in Guilty Gear Universe is here, and it's about fucking time. I got tired of playing the same fucking X2, just different shit with different characters. But um, I'm still a big fan regardless. But um, this game is actually pretty nice. Played the shit out of the demo. It's pretty good. I mean, literally, the an from them putting, like, the anime style into, you know, the 3D plane and everything moves 60 frames per second, that was grand. And as you see, you see Ramathal. I forgot her name. Really can't pronounce it well as of right now. See Kai and So Bad Guy with, apparently, as you see right here, trying to focus a little more. The other dude right there is actually Kai's little bro. I don't know what he's doing and what is his purpose, but apparently it must be something good. But uh, let's open this up, shall we? Give me some time. I am doing this one-handed while I'm holding the camera and the other. But uh, I've been opening cases for a long time. This should be no problem. And as you see, I hand it. No sort of tools, no nothing. Nothing at all. Period. Open it up. And as you see, uh, I hate it that my phone does not do this, but as you see, we got the disc here. And then, as of the same with basically, if anyone has gotten Arcana Heart 3. Love Max, basically giving you a little upside of the next upcoming games from from all axis that will be coming out. Under Knife and Birth, actually played the game, great as shit. Was gonna import it until I found out it was gonna be released in the U.S., so I can wait. And as everyone might have been playing Chrono Phantasm, which a lot of people have been playing. And as you see, you got the manual book. Not as thick or big as people may think it would be. I mean, when you first get the game, it seems like it's actually pretty, you know, it's like a, being a real nice manual. But, I mean, it's just your normal manual, basically. Giving you the story. Oh, sweet. They give you the story of all from the um, series of Guilty Gear. Even better. Right now, I just got this, but pretty soon I will be doing an unboxing of the special edition whenever that gets released. Right now, it's being delayed. And as you see here, characters starting with the main character of of Guilty Gear, So Bad Guy, aka Ragna, So Bad Guy, whatever, it doesn't matter. So Bad Guy was first. He's a beast. Um, then you got, you know, Kai, which is basically Soul's rival. You got the best, I don't give a damn what people say. She's a captain and she's like, a, and she's like a sky pirate with a big fat ass anchor for a weapon with rubber ducky boots. I love her to death. You got Malia Rage. She actually looks more better on this than she did in the other ones. Uh, one of my mains, which most likely he go and up being my man on this as well, Venom. You got Chip, Awesome Ninja. You got um, Potinkman. He's pretty cool. I don't know how he may be on this. As long as he got the Hulk fit, um, flick, I'm happy. And you got XL Low. He's a pretty good character since he appeared in X2. Faust. Can't go wrong without him. A lot of people really don't like him as much, but can't go wrong. 
I know, as always, sexy as shit. I don't give a damn. I love anime chicks. Slayer, he's actually a beast. I'm just still tripping on his opening. Like, I'm going to have another video of, you know, some sort of gameplay footage. Most likely me going through the story. Then you got Zato1, a.k.a. Eddie. <laughs> I don't care. I'm calling him Eddie. Zato one, I'm sorry, he sounds too much more. Well, he is somewhat of a creation, but whatever. Then you got one of the new characters, which is Ramnathal, Valentine. Actually, she's the enemy of this game. Wants to kill everyone and destroy everyone in the world, but we'll see what's up about that. Bedman, which sorry to say, but he sound he looked like he belonged into an asylum. Bedman. And the saddest part is, it's like, I don't know if he's paralyzed or nailed to the bed, but he actually is. Then here is who I was talking about earlier, which is Kai's little brother, Sin. I can't wait to play as him, see how he is. And apparently everything else is basically manual, getting started, modes, you know, controls screens knowing what is what on the screen oops sorry almost fell actually arcade mode which i pray that like because i swear ever since guilty gear x2 that that was the one that struck me because out of all the guilty gears that was the only one that you had three different paths for each character it was so many different ways on getting one particular path for that other character and I loved it. I hope they have it on this. Then you got M.O.M.O. Which, never got a chance to check this out. But most likely, I think this is something from Acid Core, maybe. Then you got your tutorial challenge, mission mode, training mode. Which, most likely, a lot of people might have been trying to do already. Then you got an actual story mode, which, sweet. Either way it goes, I'm going through it all. ID, basically online with the database. Basically replays, theater. Basically, you know, if you want to save any sort of replays of a good match you got. Gallery, keeping up all your clips of your matches. This is actually a nice heavy little book. You never see too much. Oh, here it is. Online play for the network. It seems like they got a lobby ranked match, player match, and ranking basically the normal access of a fighting game. Giving you more on what's going on. Lobby selection, which if I'm the lobby selection is a little different. Most lobby selections don't do it by regions as much, but for, but for, with this one it does. You see very few fighting games that does it by region. As you see, the little lobby, rank matches, search, basically give you the heads up on every type of match while playing online. Then you have your options. You know, this is basically a PS4 and, X and um, PlayStation 3 exclusive. So, you know, the light bar function, I mean, that's actually pretty cool in a sense. I mean, seeing flickering lights sometimes is a little funny to me. Hey, details matter. And this is a very important part for everyone, especially me, who loves to just not listen to the English voiceovers, because some English voiceovers suck ass. You have your choice to put it in Japanese. Yes, you have your choice. And most likely it will be a subtitle option as well. And you got your notes. You know, warranty, license. And that is it. So I'm about to put this game on. And I will see you later.